Hi, welcome back to Sensuality. First of all, thank you very much for all of the comments that you've made in the last few days. I've taken all your suggestions on board and I've decided to uh, get busy making the first video based on your suggestions. Uh, this was made by a couple of people in the comments section and this was to do with suggesting uh, 20 oils that you could buy first if you haven't bought any oils before and you are just starting uh, on your perfume journey. I couldn't pick 20 so I picked 30. I found it very difficult to pick 20 and I picked 30 because from these 30 oils um, you could make some variations of uh, an oriental uh, themed perfume. You could also make some variations of a fougere and a few things in between um, once you get experimenting. So I'm just going to read you the list of the 30 oils that I've chosen and then I'll put them into different categories and I'll explain the different categories. So we have patchouli, cedarwood, virginia, citronella, geraniol, coumarin, lavender, bergamot, linalool acetate, ethyl vanillin, benzoin, rose, jasmine, ylang ylang, iso e super, hedion, methyl ionone, galaxolide, frankincense, ambroxan, dehydromersinol, labdanum, lilial, peru balsam, coriander, oak moss, sandalwood, sweet orange, vetiver, and cardamom. Now, when I uh, talk about rose, when I talk about jasmine, when I talk about sandalwood, these are expensive oils. If you are to buy like a rose absolute or you want to buy a, a Mysore sandalwood or um, a jasmine sandback, uh, these are very expensive. So you could just substitute them for, um, you know, instead of using rose, you could use phenyl ethyl alcohol or one of the other many rose molecules. Um, and with regards to jasmine, you could just use a base. And with sandalwood, there are very, there are lots and lots of sandalwood molecules. I could suggest bagdanol. Um, I could suggest uh, polysantol, yavanol, something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, just basically make it, uh, you know, to your budget what you can afford so basically they are the oils now you've got a lot of oriental oils in there and there's also a lot of oils uh, which basically make that uh, fougere accord now you can make a more complex fougere you can make a very very simple fougere uh, and the same goes with the oriental style so basically these oils are split up into different categories you have the fixatives you have the oils which create a bit of diffusion in the perfume you have the blenders they basically fill in the gaps help all of the other oils blend together um, and you have the modifiers basically what you want to do is you want to decide what the main theme of your perfume is um, so for instance, I made up a perfume and I decided that the main theme of the perfume was going to be Parma Violet, but I wanted to make a Parma Violet Fougere. So based on that, I took a, a Parma Violet Accord, which is basically the Poucher Accord that I scaled down and just um, changed a few things, added a few things. Um, so I used that and then basically your modifiers they are basically oils which just accent the theme of your perfume so if you think about the theme as the body and the modifiers as the clothing that you uh, put on the body to dress it up um, when i say dress it up i mean you need to decide on what kind of parma violet perfume spicy parma violet um, uh, citrus parma violet etc and then you would use oils which would accent the body um, in this direction so fixatives they basically add the third dimension to your perfume they add the depth uh, they tend to be long well they have long order lives they tend to be base notes you're talking about musks resins um, you're talking about woods and mosses um, when it comes to diffusion, basically what you're doing is you're adding radiance to the perfume. Um, you're basically directing the smell. It's giving silage, so an aura around the body. Uh, it's, it's leaving a trail scent as the person wearing the perfume walks. 
Um, uh, so that's basically what diffusion is doing. Um, blenders, they fill in the gaps, they help all of the other oils blend together. Um, so you've got a, a good list of fixatives, a good list of oils which are diffusion, you've got a good list of modifiers, and you've got a good list of blenders. So uh, just to give you my example for my Palmer Violet Fougere, I started with 10 drops of the Palmer Violet Accord because this was the main theme of my perfume. Then I went to the list of modifiers and I began to add a little bit of bergamot. I added dehydromercenol. Now dehydromercenol also is on the list of oils which add diffusion. Um, I also added some coumarin, some cardamom and some citronellol. Now coumarin, citronellol um, and bergamot are typical fougere materials. I then went to um, the blenders and I added some iso -E super, some hedione. I added some linalool acetate. It's one of the main constituents of bergamot um, and it's a fantastic masculine oil. Uh, and I definitely wanted to use it because Palmer Violet's very floral and I really needed to make it masculine. So I used some linalool acetate um, and I used some lilial. Uh, and then I moved on to the fixatives. I chose a little bit of vetiver because I like the combination of vetiver and palmer violet. I added the ethyl vanillin because I love the combination of ethyl vanillin and linalool acetate. And I added coriander and I added uh, a musk, um, exaltolide, pendadecanolide. Now, I understand that that isn't on the list of oils that I've mentioned, uh, but I've used most of the oils on that list, um, and I, you know, just made up this perfume. Um, but I have also made an example from all of the oils on this list, just to give you two examples, um, and just to, just to show you how uh, flexible it can be. Now, the second perfume I made was basically a creamy uh, oak moss themed perfume. I definitely wanted it to be masculine and I really like oak moss. I think it's a very masculine note. I didn't want there to be anything else in the perfume that was too loud. So I wanted it to be really smooth, really quiet. And I wanted the oak moss just to stand out. Um, and I, I didn't want it to be too exciting i just wanted it to be masculine and um you know very um i just wanted it to sit under the radar basically just to you know accent a normal masculine uh, a natural masculine smell you know just wanted to give it a masculine presence um so basically i decided to um, make up this little accord with some ambroxan and some galaxolide and some oak moss um, and some coumarin. Um, and then basically I added my modifier. So as you can see from the list, the accord that I made, uh, basically they are all fixatives. Um, so we already have our fixatives in there. Um, I chose Ylang Ylang and Dehydromercenol as modifiers. Um, Ylang Ylang is quite soapy. I thought it would go with the, the creaminess. I thought it would go with, with the Ambroxan quite nicely. Um, and uh, the Dehydromercenol, it's just incredibly fresh. It's lemon and lime. It's really smooth and that's what I was after. Um, and uh, with regards to blenders, I added iso e super hedion, lilial, uh, bagdanol. Um, uh, but you know, as another example, if you just switch the modifiers around, you will make an entirely different perfume. So that's just something to think about and consider. So if you've got these 30 oils, um, you make some different variations of uh, some oriental based perfumes, uh, some fougeres, and you can swap around the modifiers uh, and just see what you come up with. Um, and then, you know, you can just build on these oils uh, and you can just get more oils as you go. But I chose these oils so you can make a few different things. So you can make a fougere, you can make oriental, 
uh, based perfumes. You could make um, an amber accord, for instance. The Grossman Accord is also within these oils. So the Grossman Accord is um, Hedione, Isoesupa, Galaxolide, Methyl Ionone, very famous accord. And you could use this accord um, basically for, a, for the base of any perfume, uh, specifically a feminine perfume. Um, so yeah, I really hope that that is a good set of oils just to get you salivating, you know, just to inspire you to make some perfume. It's definitely just about experimenting, but you can definitely make some perfumes out of these oils. So I do think that it will be inspiring for you to, um, to, to, to get these oils just to make up some of these, these perfumes. Uh, and especially if you're into, uh, oriental perfumes or fougiers. Um, when I started, I wish I had some kind of uh, nod in this direction because I just basically bought oils without knowing anything, without knowing how, uh, without knowing what a fixative is, what oils create diffusion, what oils are blenders, and what oils are modifiers. I will say this though. Um, I basically learned all this without knowing what a fixative is, without knowing what diffusion is, without knowing what a blender or a modifier is. I just experimented with oils, blending them together. And as I went on, I, I learned what oil lasted a long time, or I added, I learned what oil give a lot of volume to the perfume. I learned um, what oils helped other oils blend together. And, I, and this just went into my awareness. And then when I was just looking up um, what oils are blenders, modifiers, uh, what oils are fixatives, what oils create diffusion. I was quite surprised that I had sort of got it right with my own instincts just by experimenting, um, by making perfume. Uh, I had just locked all that down in my awareness. And um, yeah, I mean, there are different ways to doing it for sure. I think I did it probably um, the only way that I could do it because I had no information, but um, uh, it's definitely gonna take you a little bit longer that way, but I, I definitely think that it's more fulfilling. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I always feel like when you build on your awareness, it's just m uh, more powerful uh, because it sort of goes in you and it becomes um, intuitive. Uh, and it's not coming from your mind, uh, it's coming from within yourself. Whereas I think like this, this is all sort of in your mind until you start experimenting with oils, until you make some perfumes and then it becomes intuitive. Um, but I hope that this really is what you're looking for and I hope it helps. I hope it's some, uh, it's some uh, information that you'll cherish and you'll be able to use. And uh, I hope that it will, you know, enable you to make some perfume. Um, I could just as easily come up with another 30 oils um, to make different types of perfumes. So if you are interested in me coming up with another list and um, you know telling you which oils are the fixatives, which are modifiers, which are blenders, which will give diffusion um, and you know make some different themed perfumes, then just let me know again in the comments below and I'll come up with another 30 oils uh, and I'll do the exact same thing and I'll make a couple of examples.